literally trying my best to keep myself propped up here. I've got such an odd filming setup right now. <laughs> I haven't got my tripod and I'm sitting on my printer just so that I'm level with the camera. <laughs> Uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hi everyone, so I'm alive! <laughs> I haven't made a video in six weeks and I was saying on Twitter that that's equivalent to... Oh, hi Kezia! Hi. Come! <laughs> and I was saying earlier on Twitter that six weeks in YouTube world is equivalent to six months or so in the real, in the real world because it's such a long time because like obviously you guys are so used to me updating all the time and then for me to sort of like go off for a really long time silent not posting any videos any or any vlogs or anything like that lots of you even asking me where have you been Shirley are you alive is everything okay and all that stuff and oh my god you guys I'm fine I just had to take a break from YouTube and the online world in general because I just felt like I had to utilize my time um and do other things, things I really wanted to spend my time doing. And even though I love, love doing videos, um, I felt like my attention to other areas in my life um, was kind of like, I don't know, averted too much into YouTube and other areas were sort of like suffering. I know it's, it's a sad reality of this, you know. And also it's been a bit of a journey because I don't think I'm, well, I don't think anybody stays the same anyway. Changes happen and like experiences um, cause you to have a different perspective on things, a different outlook to life and things like that. So I, I, I can't say that I'm the same person um, that I was maybe perhaps the last time I made a video because obviously I've been through experiences, um, had a bit of a journey, I've had a few ups and downs, and but then I'm still thankful. I wake up every day and I'm thankful, try to keep a positive, you know, perspective on things always try to find the good angle no matter what it is always try to see the bigger picture if you like um and i guess that that's what keeps me going i'm i'm human being i'm human being i do have my down moments and i do have times where i feel really like sad and upset then i think to myself actually being happy is a state of mind and it's a choice that you have to make and i just decide you know what i'm gonna decide i'm gonna decide right now that I'm going to be happy and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to think happy and I'm going to be happy. And it works almost all the time. So I never let like dark times or bad times get me down. Do you know what I mean? I try my best to keep a positive outlook on that. But um, yeah, so, oh, this video is very chatty and very informal. Well, I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in such a long time that... Um, yeah, I should talk to you guys. So as you can see, I have my natural hair back. I don't have any extensions in and I dyed it black. So excited. I was so excited leading up onto the moment where I was dyeing my hair and my mum did it for me. And she actually uh, used this hair dye that she always uses and it's called um, Casting Creme Gloss by L'Oreal and the shade is 200 Ebony Black. Um, initially, when she, when she towel blotted it after she had washed it, it was so black and I felt so different. I thought, oh my God, I don't know whether this is a good idea. I'm going to look really funny because I've been so used to my brown hair. Uh, my natural hair colour is really is brown. Um, but then I dried it and it looked amazing and I was so excited. And I told my mum, thank you. And uh, I was just like, oh, I need to share this with everybody. Um, so yeah, um, my hair has grown from the bob cut that I did uh, this time last year. Oh my God, it's been a year. Um, but then it's thinned out a tiny bit at the back, and I suspect that's because of like my weave and stuff like that. But not to worry, I know my hair grows back so quickly and it gets full within a couple of weeks. So I'm just going to be treating it and be doing my you know whole moisturising, sealing routine and things like that just to get it back uh, up to a place where I like it. So yeah, that's my hair. Another thing I really wanted to mention in this video is my new love, and it's the um, BB cream by Smashbox, which I actually have on my skin right now. It's incredible. I have it somewhere, if I can find it. Here we are. I still have it in a box, just so I can show you guys in the video. And uh, my shade is in dark. It's a Smashbox camera ready, and it's got SPF 35. So it's one of those ones that has a whole bunch of stuff in it um, to make it do different things. So it protects your skin, it moisturizes your skin, it primes your skin, it's also good coverage. Um, and I know some some people don't, might not know what a BB cream is. A BB cream is a blemish balm 
So it's a, something that like kind of went kind of big in the whole blogging community in the last year. I initially had no idea what it was and when I came across um, this one, it was like my first ever one to see in real life and test out and I really liked it and the shade is dark and it's perfect for my skin. As you can see, I just have that on my skin. I have no concealer on, literally just applied it on my skin using my fingers and applied like I would do a moisturiser and it's perfect. I like the fact that it's natural looking as well. Um, I tend to go for more of a natural look because it makes me look uh, youthful and it's a lot more modern and um, I like that. Um, yeah, so those are the kind of things I want to talk to you guys about. My hair colour and my new love, my newfound love with Smashbox um, BB cream. Oh, I should show you. It comes in a tube like this and it's £27 and I think that's really steep for um, a BB cream and the fact that this doesn't really have that much in it. I think it's 30 mil, so 27 pounds for 30 mil is quite expensive. I'm not going to lie, but it's a really good product, and I can vouch for it and say that it's it actually is worth that if you think about it. I'm not sure whether they do a really wide shade range. Apologise because I didn't actually look this up online. Obviously, I've only just bought it, I tried it, and I like it. And I just thought I'd, I'd tell you guys. But if you do know whether they do a large shade range, let me know down below. I will check on YouTube um on Google later. But um, so far, so good. I'm liking it. Um, so expect uh, an in-depth review of this later on when I get more use out of it. So I'd love to know what's been going on with you guys. Have you had any changes in your life? Um, any cool things happen? You know, what music have you been listening to? What movies have you been watching? I've been um, listening to a lot of music. Currently on repeat, let's see. This team last change song. I have a look on my phone. Is oh, I have Azealia Banks 1991, which is the last one that I've played. What else do I have on here? Oh, 2012 by Chris Brown. What if the sky was turning red? Oh, Rubber Room by Nicki Minaj. Just let it go, just let it go again. I've just been listening to lots of music. Music has been my best friend. And um, yeah, let me know what your favourite songs are. Any new artists you think I should check out? Um, yeah. I know some people are going to ask. My phone cover's from H&M. Um, it's a little, I think it's a rabbit, I'm not sure. It has like its paws on there. I think it's so cute. It comes in black as well. It's only 2 99 which is kind of awesome. So this video is very informal and very short, but hopefully you guys are well and I just wanted to let you guys know I'm alive. I'm going to try my best to balance things just so I can have enough time to do the things I, I need to prioritise and then also have some time to make videos because I love making videos. I love talking to you guys and I love sharing with you guys so many things I love doing and things I like uh, using and things like that. So um, yeah, so I'll speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.